Hi, this is Dr. Hajra Nazir. I'm a cosmetic dental surgeon and I'm the founder of uh, Richmond Dental, which is located at Langford Road, Bangalore. So we are going to be talking about laser dentistry today. So what is laser dentistry? So laser dentistry is basically the usage of laser in dentistry to treat the diseases. So there are two types of lasers. We have heart tissue laser and we have soft tissue laser. Heart tissue laser are the ones which deal with your teeth and soft tissue lasers are the ones which deal with your gums. So in heart tissue lasers, the one which I told you about that we are going to be treating the teeth. So in this, we have several procedures which come under it, like treating the tooth hypersensitivity, caries detection, cavity removal. So heart tissue laser uh, procedures are treating the tooth sensitivity, tooth hypersensitivity, then the cavity detection, and then the caries removal, and even uh, doing the dental fillings, and even in the endodontics, the uh, root canal sterilization. So the soft tissue lasers, are usually used for hyperplastic gingiva, removal of the hyperplastic gingiva, which is called as a gingivoplasty, then the recontouring of uh, the gingiva, and then we can uh, see the depigmentation of the gums, then uh, the tongue tie or uh, the high frenum attachment, uh, which is basically the fold which is there between the tongue and the floor of the mouth. So all this can be done by a laser. So in laser, the advantages is it is painless and it is a bloodless field. So we don't really require a local anesthesia for it, wherein it does not burn the tissue. It basically vaporizes the uh, tissue and it is very helpful in young kids having tongue tie, wherein uh, which causes uh, breastfeeding difficult and even the speech impairment. So then we are going to talk about the gum diseases, how it helps the gum diseases. So there are several gum diseases like uh, gingivitis, periodontitis, and uh, like I mentioned before, the hyperplastic gingiva and even uh, bleeding gums. Uh, so these all can be cured uh, via the laser. So lasers can be used other than uh, the heart tissue and the soft tissue removal or even you know the soft tissue procedures. We can use laser uh, for oral cancers or uh, you know we can see there are several other uh, procedures, the therapeutic procedures uh, we can use the lasers for uh, basically the oral submucous fibrosis, then the leukoplakia, then uh, we can remove the uh, varicose carcinoma, basically the growth which you can see during the cancer, that outgrowth which is there in the cheek or the tongue. So that can uh, be removed or excised uh, using laser. Not only that, but we can use laser for our diagnostic purposes as well. So the laser light penetrates through the gum or the heart tissues like the teeth to see what is there beneath it. We even use laser to remove the part of our tissue for biopsy. So lasers were introduced because they are economical and uh, they are not as the routine surgical procedures wherein the you know blade is to be used. So what we do in laser is basically use the laser tip and excise the tissue when it comes to the soft tissue removal. At the heart tissue removal, we are just sterilizing the tooth, removing the bacteria, burning out the bacteria, and we are not causing any kind of a damage. If you see that, for example, when it comes to the hard tissue tooth uh, cavity preparation, uh, wherein we are like removing the bacteria from it, removing the decay as well as sealing the dentinal uh, tubules uh, to reduce the dentinal hypersensitivity.